Hi guys, Poke Pill here with a quick video on the electronical age. Uh, someone asked me in the comments of my second video that they couldn't really get going with uh, power. So, um, just quickly going to show you how to really get started. So, first of all, you need will need one of these, which is your stone heat furnace, which is just your uh, combustion chamber and copper thermal cable with stone around it. Uh, you will need one of those. You will also need some thermal cable. Uh, I have a uh, all meter here thing, uh, but you will need a thermal cable and you will need to make a uh, 50 volt turbine, which as you know is the iron around a copper cable, and that is basically uh, your turbine, really that's the most expensive thing, so you will want to put your turbine down as so, and then the uh, wires coming out of it at the sides will be your power wires, so if we get some more of this, you can see these are your power wires. Then out of the uh, front, which is like the red and the uh, blue ones, then they are your thermal cables. You'll want your thermal cable connected to your heat furnace, and you will want this on take fuel. Um, you may want a regulator for this, I'm not sure if you really need one, but uh, we are going... Oh shoot, it's helpful if I can spell right. Uh, but I'm going to stick a regulator in here anyway. I can't actually remember the recipe for it, so... Uh, quickly put that there, there we go, there's the recipe. You will need a chip, so you will actually need silicone. So you will actually... You won't need one of those to start with, but you can use this side gauge thing anyway. Uh, this just regulates the stuff. So, um, yeah. So that's connected to that. That's connected to that. And then also your plate bending or your plate machine. I've put a 200 volt here just to make sure that nothing explodes. Uh, but you can also, if I can find it, uh, there it is. Grab the 50 volt. Hopefully this won't explode. I hope. Please don't explode. Uh, but yeah, so this can take up to, I believe it's 250 heat. Yeah, 250 heat. So that's normal. And we're going to grab a bucket of lava. And get rid of that. And if we stick our lava in here into the fuel slot, it will take it instantly. This will start heating up. And then if we use our meter on here, this will also start heating up and you'll see on the left that it is generating volts now this thing should yeah this thing's gaining power gradually so don't expect it to gain power straight away but it is going slowly up and if i grab an iron ingot here also one other thing that i didn't show you is if you put these into the slot it will have it on the front awesome uh, and that is basically how you generate the very basics of power, but don't expect it to be any quick thing. Because, believe me, it's really not. But the more of these you have, the quicker it will make it. Let's get a regulator on this one. So, we need lava. Lava. So yeah, this is just a quick extra video to what I would normally do. Uh, take fuel. There you go. That we're going to actually put up to control up there. So you will see that rocket up. So I think this will actually take power. I'm not entirely sure. But uh, you will see this rocket up. Uh, that's probably a bit too high now. Oh god. Uh, cut the power. Cut the power. Please cut the power. Oh jeez. And now we've got no power. Helpful. That's exactly what I didn't want to happen. Damn it. Uh, damn it. Okay, why isn't the plate machine working? I'm probably derping out somewhere. Am I being an idiot? Okay guys, so I got it working, it was my fault. Uh, you actually need to put four uh, iron uh, ingots in for each plate. So uh, that was just me being a derp. But that's basically your basic uh, power generation. 
after you've got your iron plates of course you can make your uh, solar panels and your turbines and everything but that is literally the basics so the other thing is uh, your cooling so I got a fan at the bottom here you will see that uh, this is uh, da -da -da -da, where is it so we are at 70 Six seventy-five. Okay, so uh, this thing, when your uh, turbine generates power, you can have it filtered back into this, and this will cool it. So you have a cooling thing down there. But since this is not generating a lot of power at the moment, it's not going very fast. And since it's not very hot, then it's not going very fast either. So let's get this back up to pelt and see if this goes faster so you'll immediately see that is going a lot faster just to call this well guys thanks for watching and uh, i will see you guys next time